Zara Owen is a first-year student at the University of Nottingham and hasn't been living in the city for long. She was on a night out with friends last week at Prism Nightclub and it was here she thinks she was injected with a needle in her leg. I have no recollection of the nightclub, what had happened to me in there, but the next morning I had an agonising pain in my leg and I couldn't walk on it. I had a huge limp which was causing me great pain. It's still terrifying the fact that it's happened to me and I don't know when it could have happened or what or where in the club or anything that have happened. A spokesperson for Prism Nightclub has said while these incidents are rare, they take all reports of this nature very seriously and will do all they can to make sure that they don't happen on their premises. In a separate incident at Stealth Nightclub on the 12th of October, a woman says she felt a pinch on the back of her arm before blacking out and being taken to hospital. She believes she was injected with a mystery liquid. Stealth Nightclub has said it's absolutely unacceptable for women to live in fear of being spiked by needles on a night out and it takes reports of this nature very seriously. Well, this story has really got people talking today. We've had loads of comments on our BBC East Midlands Facebook page. I'll just bring you a flavour of some of them. Uh, Denise says, be careful, please. Rita says, it's awful, something needs to be done. And Alison says, it's very scary for anyone to have something like this happen on a night out with friends. This afternoon, students at Nottingham Trent University held a meeting to discuss improving women's safety in the city. We um, have a whole like, initiative coming out regarding um, bottle stops, which at the moment are being given away for free behind most bars. Um, and then we've got um, nightcaps that we're trying to invest in. So like um, scrunchies that double as um, cup covers. Zara says she feels apprehensive about going out in Nottingham in the future, but says she won't let fear stop her from enjoying student life.